To weave along with this tutorial, you will need a 6 inch pin loom, a crochet hook, a large eye needle, yarn of your choice and a pair of scissors. To begin, make a slip knot in your preferred method. Place the knot end over any corner pin. Pull the loop of the slip knot diagonally across the loom and place over another corner pin. You're going across your loom diagonally and you now have two strands. To begin our first weave, take your working yarn around the next pin above your knot. Again, take this yarn diagonally across the loom and around the second pin on the top. Hold the yarn under a little tension. This makes it so much easier to grab with your crochet hook. As a little tip, we're always going to be going over the first strand. So we go over and under, grab the working yarn and hook that onto the second pin next to the, the corner pin working down the loom. We're then going to take that strand and bring that all the way down. You can see that we're where the weave has begun and bring this and hook it around the second pin at the bottom of the loom. And that is our first round of weaving complete. You've got weaving at the bottom and at the top. So we continue, we go around the third pin diagonally up your loom to the third pin at the top, bring it round, hold under a little tension and again we start by going over, under, over, under, grab the working yarn, place it on that third pin at the top, drag it down to the bottom onto the third pin at the bottom. And you can see how we are creating both the round with the weaving at the top and the weaving at the bottom. And we continue this way until it looks something like this. So we go on to the fourth pin, the fourth pin at the top, Wrap it round. Hold under a little tension. Over, under, over, under, over, under. Grab that working yarn onto the fourth pin. So we're coming down to the bottom, onto the fourth pin at the bottom. And you continue this way until you've gone all the way around and you only have the one pin left on the other diagonal corner. So continue in that way and we'll be right back to show where we go from there. So we now have three pins left on each end of our loom. So not much weaving left to go. First, you're going to continue to weave as you have been doing around these final two pins. I like to start quite high up. Makes it so much easier. And do your under over. This last one is a little bit tricky, but you can get it. Bring it through. Try not to let your yarn twist on you at this point. Hold the loop with your finger. Grab your next little section. Grab it and pull through, just as you have been doing, only there's not quite as much space this time. Keep on going. Grabbing the loop, pulling through, being careful not to twist until you get to the very end. A 
couple more to go. Pull it through and place it over the pins just like you have been doing. Now at this point what you need to do and realise is we only have the one pin left at the bottom and one pin left at the top. You can see here that we've got we've done all the pins. Now you need to separate out that strand so that you can weave in the middle of those last strands. So once that's all nicely separated, cut your yarn, leaving a nice long tail. Thread up your needle. I'm using an upholstery needle, which you can get from any haberdashery, um, but any needle will do for this. And let's turn the loom round and have a look at what we've got at the very end here. So we've got the one pin left and we need to weave down the work. Let me zoom in so that you can see nice and clearly. Here's our one pin and as you can see the last weave we did we actually went over that final strand. So we need to come around the pin and under that same strand to work back. So pull that through and there you can see you've looped around that final pin. Now you continue in exactly the same way the over under over under of each strand but this time with your needle. And just do this in small little sections whatever you're most comfortable with however long your needle is and work your way back down to the corner pin on the opposite diagonal. So it's this, exactly the same as you've been doing already, but this time with just the one strand, you're not having to pull down any yarns because you're only going in one direction. Make sure you keep your yarn nice and tensioned so that you don't get a baggy final weave. And all the warp and weft threads will all even out once you've removed it from the loom and given it a little pull. And let's get across there and I will show you how we take it off the loom. I'm nearly at the end now. Only a few more threads to go. And run over right to the very end. Pull it through. So there we go, we're right at the very end and we've come out round our last pin. To make it nice and secure, go around that pin and bring it back on itself. Again, go under, sorry, gone out of frame there, underneath that yarn, that strand there, hooking it around the pin. And then what I like to do for an extra bit of security is to actually take my needle and go through the strands where the warp and weft cross. Just pop your needle straight through there, pull it through to the back and you're done. So we're all finished. You can play around with your threads to get them all nice and even. And to take it off the loom, simply put your needle in under a corner and lift the loop over the top of the pin. And you do that all the way across. It may come off nice and easily. And once you've got yourself enough room, you can pop your finger in and just pop it off with your fingers nice and easily. Comes away really simply. And that's it, that is our first square completed. So reshape it and let's have a look. The edges are all beautiful and uniform so you can crochet into these, you can sew them together, you can add trims and embellishments. 
So I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial. If there's anything else you'd like to know, please leave me a comment below.